What's going on guys on Surpassable Z? First off, thanks to Slate of Hand for that intro, and now we hop on board with Obnoxious as he's playing a game of Capture the Flag on Coliseum. Put some solid shots into Dreamus S1 and lifts up to see if he can catch anyone else. Sees Climax rushing for the Rockets and takes him out with an easy headshot as well. Sees that his team is pushing up and he sees that his team also has Rockets, so he goes to Snipe Maze. Of course he knows that they're going to spawn Cave. Dreamus goes down again after he spawns, makes another guy one shot, and his teammate actually cleans him up so he gets the double kill. Pushes forward to see if he can out PR Climax, makes him weak, and he actually does get the cleanup for the triple kill, and quick scope under pressure for the overkill to take out Dreamus again. Our next clip comes in from Miss Ninjutsu as he's playing the end of the Strongholds game on Plaza. Drops down bottom middle to see if he can do some damage, and he takes out one and two guys with the railgun. Double A goes down as well. Regains his shields behind Prius here, looks behind him to check his angles, and he sees one driveway, times it perfectly as that guy pokes out, and he kills him with the railgun for the first kill. Looks down bottom middle again and catches another guy for the double kill, seeing if he can see anyone else, and he looks down with the scope in and he gets the triple kill on double A again to secure the triple kill and the win for his team. Our next clip comes in from my friend Pineapple Rocket. He's another YouTuber and I'll link him below. He starts things off with the instant cannon, getting a double kill, catches another guy for the triple kill and picks the bomb up on this custom forge map. Accidentally smacks his teammate, but it's no problem as he rushes forward here and smacks the last guy for the overkill. Our next clip comes in from my teammate MTK, he's just found the sniper rifle in his own flag, takes out one guy without too much of a problem and looks catwalk to catch another guy in the head for a double kill. Looks red window and snow scopes him across the map for the triple kill, and using his awareness of spawns, catches another guy running elbow for the overkill, and he catches the kill tacular in the body, doing some massive damage for his team. Our next clip comes in from XBL Takedown during a show match. But the one thing I really like about the way that he's playing this is he's not trying to grab the opposing flag until he knows that the rest of his team has cleared a route for him. That's why we're not seeing that much opposition anytime he grabs the flag and he's trying to run it back to his base. He's just trying to ensure that he can clear. And our final clip for the day comes in from Alanimal in the very beginning of this game of Slayer on Pegasus. Grabs the overshield and runs outside after he grabs a carbine to see if he can do any damage. There's a perfect splinter grenade and he hits that guy in the forehead with it for the first kill. No scope for the double kill, looking around to see if he can catch another one, sees another guy flying up, he gets hit in the head for the triple kill, and Alanimal shoots the last guy in the ankle for the overkill. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys next episode. Peace.